Alabama running back room suffered losses after the 2023 season. Obviously, Jace McClellan went on to the NFL draft. He was testing the transfer portal waters as well, maybe potentially Ole Miss, but he's gone nonetheless. Roydell Williams, the Alabama native, Huey Town, he is taking his talents to Tallahassee, to Florida State, both heavy SEC experience guys. Well, you never want to lose experience. I wouldn't categorize Either one of these guys is irreplaceable, guys. Remember, I'm Dave Shoemate. I'm host here on the SEC Unfiltered platform, also on Mock 10 Sports. When I grade running backs, talk about Jace McClellan, Roydell Williams, I grade them on a rare uh, winnable plus, winnable, winnable minus scale. I would put Jace McClellan, Roydell Williams in that winnable case, and you probably can make an argument about winnable plus. Uh, but I think this new unit in 2024 with the new Caleb De- Kalen divorce system has a chance to be the most well-rounded unit Alabama's had since 2020. Uh, I'm here to tell you why I think Jam Miller and Justice Haynes, then if you want to add in Richard Young and even Daniel Hill, will be a unit that makes Kalen DeBoer utilize his running backs more than he's ever had to do in the past. People want to talk about all the passing game concepts with DeBoer, uh, Nick Sheridan, uh, Jamarcus Shepard, the, the whole Washington crew that's now at Alabama, vertical passing game, horizontal passing game, making the defense defend sideline to sideline. And obviously, like I mentioned, the vertical passing game, that's what they want to do. That's what people from a surface level know them as. And honestly, the overall system is just a master class of getting your playmakers into space. Just, I mean, just look how Kalen DeBoer utilized wide receivers last year. It made it ultimately made it to the national championship game. Guys like Roma Dunze, Jalen Polk, Jalen McMillan, but DeBoer, to be fair to him, going back to his Fresno State days, Washington days, has never had a collective group of running backs that he will have in 2024 in Tuscaloosa. He, he just hasn't. That's no offense to former Mississippi State running back, Washington running back last year, but Dylan Johnson, he was good for Washington last year, a bit of their workhorse, but they didn't have the trio or even the duo that Alabama will have in Justice Haynes and Jam Miller this season. Washington last year was 104th in the country in rushing last year. But just wanted to touch on these two guys, the duo I'm talking about, and Justice Haynes and Jam Miller. Justice Haynes, to me, has the same size and frame of your typical Alabama running back. Plays bigger than his listed size, that I, in my opinion, um, after remembering going back and watching his high school tape, and then obviously the little bit we saw from him last year. Plays quick-footed, loose hip, and with good leverage but flashes impressive suddenness, short area burst, whether that's linear or lateral, uh, display, displays good explosion out of cuts at multiple levels, particularly dangerous in his subtle second level, re, uh, second level excuse me, redirections, accelerating out of those cuts to produce big plays, accelerates with urgency, continues to build speed beyond the second level. Top end speed, I think, only going to improve. So just saying, an overall just I would say a complete back. I, I really would. I really like the way he plays within his frame. That's key to me when I was evaluating running backs, not getting off balance, being able to make uh, one cut and stay in balance, get north and south. I think Justice Haynes does that phenomenally. And then the other guy, Jam Miller, built like a ball of muscle with com- compact, has a natural build, just a natural center of gravity, well-built running back, well-built running back. Plays stronger than his listed size, it suggests as well. Runs with good pad level and consistently finishes runs. Shows the ability to get skinny in traffic to gain extra yards. Strong enough to run between arm tackles or run through arm tackles, I should say. And I also think his vision. Vision is a plus. Quick feet in the hole to make the first man miss. Dangerous stretch stretch option as a one cut back with the ability uh, to play with top end speed. Both, the, both of them are a little bit similar. I would probably say just seems a little bit more looser. From that standpoint, just a looser overall athlete, a bit more fluid um, athlete overall. I also think Justice Haynes' patience. If you go back and watch his film against Mississippi State, if you go back and watch a little bit of the game against Middle Tennessee State and even Michigan, his ability to be patient, to wait for his blocks to uh, to set up so he can have success. And he's obviously not leaving his offensive lineman out. I don't know if it's the patience of a Le'Veon Bell, but it is very good patience for a young cat like him. Both guys, both guys, Justice Haynes and Jam, Jam Miller, have exceptional traits. Something that I think Jace McClellan and Roydell Williams did not, and that's why I didn't put them in that winnable plus category. Uh, some people may argue that. Please tell me in the comments. I would love to hear how you think about that. But I, the interesting part here to me will be how Kalen DeBoer utilizes this group this upcoming season will be really intriguing to me. 
It'll be really intriguing. Add that DeBoer is going to tweak the system to his personnel. That's why they he likes to throw the football, but I think Kalen DeBoer is a smart enough guy, smart enough offensive mind to know, like, hey, my weapons last year in Odunze, Polk, and McMillan, those were my weapons in on offense. Those were my best players on offense outside of the quarterback position in Michael Penix. But I think he tweaks the system to his personnel. And if Jalen Milrow is the starter – it would be in Alabama and DeBoer's best interest to utilize Milrow's biggest strength as a runner, probably in the RPO game, the run pass option, which will then allow running backs to have success as well. It goes hand in hand. Also, if you've been following Alabama's spring practice, they've just kicked off a week and a half, two weeks ago. So far, you noticed the backs, Justice Haynes, talking about how they are being utilized in the passing game more. He seemed fired up about it. You go read a uh, – Article from Coach Gillespie, the running backs coach who got retained, one of the two coaches that got retained along with Freddie Roach on the defensive line. But specifically, Coach Gillespie talking about how the offense is utilizing the running backs in the passing game a lot different now. They're going empty sets or lining up the running backs in the slot. That's If you, if you know the Kalen DeBoer offense, the slot receiver on those post-corner routes is key. Normally that would be a receiver there. I think maybe factoring a little bit of a guy like Jeremy Bernard this year, a transfer from Washington that will be at Alabama. You can see that. Don't be surprised if you see some running backs there as well. So if you're an Alabama fan, the the running back room, while unproven, doesn't have the experience of a Jace McClellan and Roydell Williams, has a chance to be a real strength on offense, and I think it's going to be a better room than you saw in 2023. Add in the new offensive system from Kayla DeBoer that likes to put his playmakers in space and will show different formations to stress defenses. Like I mentioned at the beginning, both vertically and horizontally, you have to be fired up if you're an Alabama fan. And I really think it's a no-brainer. I think this 2024 Alabama running back room, when you factor in, when you factor in guys like Justice Haynes, Jam Miller, uh, Richard Young, throw in Daniel uh, Hill in there, I think it's going to be a better, deeper room than 2023. I, I really do. I really do. But if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these segments. SEC Unfiltered is your place to find all your March Madness coverage. Conference tournaments start this week. It's going to be a great week down in Nashville. Baseball coverage, it's opening weekend in conference play this week. A lot of great series coming. And, of course, football. Of course, football. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, change the game.